Yeah, hi all. So my name is Lakshita. I'm a Salesforce and Marketing Cloud Developer. In this video, I'm going to explain to you very useful feature called Feed Chatter Email Notification. In here you can see the release node that Salesforce has introduced. You can check under the release update this feature is already available in your org or not. So here, here first you need to log into your Salesforce org and go to setup and uh, under setup you can uh, section called release update. So here you can find the release that already installed to your org. So here you can see this is the chatter email notification related update that uh, Sales was already installed to my org, so you can see it's a complete date by September 2023. So in view details, you can find all relevant information related to this uh, email chatter, email notification related update. So I will explain to you one by one. So actually, before introduce this feature with new release, the feed chatter email notification sent by Salesforce email not your own email. Now Salesforce has introduced to set up your own from email address with this update. I will explain to you step by step and uh, how to set up and how to add this feature into your case layout. So first step would be as I mentioned earlier you need to log into your own uh, Salesforce org and uh, go to set up then you can type a chatter. In here you can see the email settings. You need to go to the email settings. In email settings you have a several options. So first one is a general settings. You have a several option to enable. Based on your requirement you can enable these features. So in here I'm enabled all these features so next one will be a sender so in here you can see the from name so this is the display name that you need to set up then uh, here is the from email address you need to add your from email address over here and save it once you save it you will receive the verification email to uh, your email so once you verify that email uh, this uh, it will appear like this so other than that we, we have a, uh, another two options we can branding your uh, from email like adding a logo and a footer text so this is basically email settings that you need to configure and this is the things that uh, already mentioned in the release note you can see over here so then I'll move to the next step that I'm going to explain to you how to add this email chatter functionality into your case layout. So in order to add that email chatter functionality in your case layout, so you need to enable it. So in here you can see the chatter settings. So you need to go to the chatter settings. In here you need to enable this feature so there are a few other features as well related to this email chatter so you can go through this uh, functionality and you can enable according to your requirement so you can enable and you can save it so once you save it you eligible to add that uh, chatter functionality in your case layout so then I'll move to my case this is one of my case so then um, here I am going to explain to you that in, in Salesforce we have a two options the lightning and classic I will explain one by one how to add uh, this image chatter into lightning and the classic so first time starting with uh, the lightning uh, here you can edit the lightning page with the lightning app builder so here is the I'm going to add that feed uh, chatter feed functionality in this tab 
so I'm going to add a new tab over here and you can select uh, tab name as a feed and click done so this is your new tab called feed so under standard functionality once you enable that chatter functionality over here so it will appear in your lightning app builder as a standard functionality you can drag and drop over here yeah that's it so I'm going to save this okay then I'm going to refresh my case here you can see your chatter functionality enabled to your case so here you can uh, here you can send email to your end users with using this chatter function this is a lightning view then I'm going to explain to you the uh, the classic how to set up this functionality in classic so first of all I need to go to the object in here you need to go to the page layout if you have a multiple based on your record type you can configure it so I'm uh, going to add this email functionality over here so under quick action you can type email so I already enabled this one so you can see you need to add this email button to your quick action layout so you can see this is the button you need to add this into quick action so then you can save it once you save it so you can go to the classic view and see this functionality already in classic here you can see the functionality already enabled for the classic view as well so this is the functionality that I need to share with you today so yeah thank you for watching my videos and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel so thank you have a nice day